Assalamu alaikum ninjas, ahlan wa sahlan bikum, your ninja Muhammad with another gamepad review, unboxing, hands-on and game test. We have a, a new Ipega PGSW029 telescopic Bluetooth gamepad for Nintendo Switch ninjas. Uh, like, you can see by yourself here, Nintendo Switch, uh, PlayStation 3, Android smartphones, tablets, uh, uh, we can use it also with the TV boxes if you want to do that and Windows PC so yes it works with the Nintendo Switch console which is super super cool this is telescopic what that means it uh, obviously it supports tablets it supports tablets uh, like see myself 130 to 280 millimeters that is cool that is cool so that's 28 centimeters we'll see I'm gonna try to use a bit kind of larger uh, tablet around 10 inches so, and uh, remember the buying links will be in the description so let's go firstly quickly with the quick 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 quickly with the unboxing there we go quick unboxing ninja so you're gonna get have here a cable a charging cable all together for this uh, ipaga gamepad let's check it out this yes unfortunately it has a micro usb uh, port uh, so a bit slower rate than example with the type c usb gamepads uh, we have here some manuals english and chinese simple english and uh, english and chinese and here uh, obviously it's telling you how you're gonna pair it with the nintendo switch mode you can see myself over there b plus home button android mode is y plus home button for two seconds to turn on the controller at the same time use uh, bluetooth on your device to pair pgsw029 uh, all together p uh, p3 mode plays basically play playstation 3 mode is a plus home button and pc mode is l plus home buttons for two seconds to turn on the controller you can obviously use the wired connection l home for two seconds to turn on the controller says indicators flashes you can just simply pause this video and check all these uh, parameters and connection mode instructions just pause this video guys anyway let's go back and here is the key here is the gamepad oh i remember the old telescopic ipega gamepad from four years ago i think so four years ago since uh, i didn't review a telescopic gamepad from uh, ipega yeah, we have two different colors, black and green color. Green color looks very cool, in just it's like a green uh, blue color combination. Uh, working current, uh, it's a 30 mh. Continuous use, it's around 10 hours. They say uh, this is a five. Uh, yeah, it has a 300 mAh battery ingest. The distance, of course, for this uh, uh, charging time is around two and a half hours. And this is a Bluetooth 3.0 connectivity, which obviously it's under eight meters distance. They say on the standby mode, this gamepad can work in just up to uh, 30 days. Oh my God, check it out, telescopic. Telescopic, like it out. I think it can fit even a laptop here. <laughs> Wow, bro! Wow, this almost what? Wow, that is crazy! How long this? Wow, that is so long. That is so long, bro. It's very light. This gamepad is very light. Obviously, everything is here made from cheap, cheap plastic body. Here we have these customizable buttons: Ninja Plus, Minus, uh, Play, uh, Go Back, Forward. We have Plus and Minus Home button. Uh, obviously, the triggers: uh, X, Y, B, A buttons and D pad. You can see for yourself. D pad is very silent medium loudness for the x y a b buttons triggers medium button medium loudness l1 and r1 also medium loudness so not bad all together this is kind of medium loud gamepad in just of course you can also enable this one so you can hold your gamepad all together so it's just yeah, simple that's it remember that this device does come also with the built-in six axis gyroscope fine vision assisted by uh somatisonary uh, file adjustment uh, yes six axis gyroscope so it's suitable for operating games on nintendo switch playstation android and computer pc Beautiful. Anyway, a super long retractable cable for easy play with all kinds of equipment. Uh, let me just see. By the way, remember, remember that yes, what I love about it, if you're gonna fit somehow, if you're gonna find some, uh, somebody will ask me, can I fit? Uh, let me just some use a device here. Can I fit? Example, if I can use, uh, let's just see here, uh, headphones. Let me just show you right now, Jess you can do it i think maybe you can somehow manage it if you also remove the case let me try to remove the case sorry if i'm allowed a little bit but a lot of people ask me of course maybe some of you maybe have a, a bluetooth hand fa head head headphones earphones but let me just see here i think you're gonna manage somehow to fit it here it is here i don't know can my camera show you here it is the 3.5 mm headphone jack for poco x3 pro depends obviously of the tablet or the smartphone depends depends uh, anyway, all together, beautiful. 
Wow. It feels sturdy. It feels very, very rocky, rocky, solid. Doesn't feel uh, that cheap regarding the telescopic handle here on the back. Check this out. Beautiful. Anyway, let's go now immediately test it with a tablet. We're gonna just see how the tablet fits in with this telescopic gamepad. Here we go, Jazz. Check out, you probably are right now shocked too. What the heck? Look at this beast of a tablet which I'm having. This is the Honor V6 Ninjas, a 10 inch, uh, slightly more than 10 inches. Uh, so it fits per perfectly. I can even fit, obviously, even 12 inch tablet here with this one. Uh, newer versions, of course, uh, probably the older tablets, <coughs> 12 inches, they are even uh, bigger, while new modern tablets have a thinner bezel, so that's why are they are more compact uh, compact for this gamepad. Uh, works perfectly here, let me just show you here, I'm gonna go here to the settings, and you can see by itself that it's connected, the PGSW029. Perfectly here. I don't see the uh, unfortunately I don't see the battery percentage, but this is the only you can use with the Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity so far that I know. Yeah, and we're gonna play first. We're gonna warm up this uh, emulator. Uh, this uh, sorry for that. This tablet with the Arc Survival Evolve. Let's do it. What I love about it, obviously, this bracket here. It it's just firmly it's firmly fixed. It can't drop. It. It's locked on this side and it's locked on bottom here. And just so you can see myself. It's locked here, so it can't fall. Uh, unless everything is just fell from your hands, the gamepad and the tablet. Let's play Ark Survival Evolved. Ark Survival Evolved on this massive tablet, Kirin 985. Uh, let's check this out, Ninjas. Let's check it out. This gamepad, will it work nicely here? And boom, voila. <laughs> of course, bro, of course. Oh my god, bro. It, also, the telescopic, uh, telescopic gamepad, it's a must have for a massive tablets. Okay, 8 inch tablets. Okay, we don't even have that much 8 inch tablets anymore because phones are getting super big, almost 7 inches, the new flagships and are almost uh, 7 inches uh, big, bro. Hold left trigger and move left stick to forward to sprint. Okay. Will he sprint if I hold it longer? It does, he, hit, he is sprinting right now. Beautiful. Great performance, great performance with this gamepad. I don't see so far any problems whatsoever, so we're gonna move to next game. Let's go, let's go, Real Racing 3 here with uh, this Ipeka gamepad with the tablet itself. Again, another flawless experience here. Remember that this uh, gamepad ninjas has a gyroscope and also it has uh, dual vibrators, vibration on right and on the left. I don't know, this technology is advancing with the game pads and just these game pads are very light I don't even know how they can fit all of that the vibration and also gyroscope all together everything changing the camera everything from a game pad I don't need to touch the screen at all beautiful Let's now move to Asphalt 9 and using Poco X3 Pro, a smartphone. Right now we're using a smartphone with 6.7 inch screen. Let's check this out. Disable the auto touch drive. Whoa. Great experience here also with the smartphone. Nice. Let's go to the next game. Great experience with the smartphone also. Of course, you can return back this bracket. You don't need to use it with the phone. It just is still firmly fixed. The phone also firmly fixed it, and also you can use it with the uh, obviously with the case. It does have enough of space, like see that stuff over here. It does have enough of space. Also on the bottom. Check it out. We have the looseness here. Also, check it out the camera bump of the Poco X3 Pro. Let's also have to mind that yourself. But again, that the case will cover also this. 
Okay, we're gonna check also Dead Trigger 2 Ninjas. Uh, right now here running on Poco X3 Pro. This game also can run up to unlimited FPS. Uh, you can see myself here, flawless performance 120 FPS with the Poco X3 Pro. Wow. Wow, just wow. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, so I think this should be it. We tested a few different uh, Android games uh, uh, with this gamepad so far. Uh, I don't see any problems whatsoever. Remember that this gamepad also is supported. Let me just check also for you, just for the end. We're going to go also and check it in emulators. Let's check this on gamepad with emulation. Fight. Check it out. Damon PS2 Pro with this gamepad works again just fine. Ooh. <laughs> that was amazing, bro. Ah, shame, I wanted to make Fidelity KO there. Awesome. I'm gonna test also another emulator. Let's go test another game. We're gonna go with uh, SmackDown. Here comes the pain. Check it out. Come down, come down, bro. <laughs> what a crazy game. Beautiful. There we go. Uh, PPS SPP emulator also works just fine with this gamepad. Beautiful. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed it, this full gaming review uh, of this gamepad. Uh, yes, uh, you will have the buying links in the description and also my recommendation which gamepads to buy in the future. Remember, this is a micro USB uh, charging uh, gamepad here. You can see myself here on the bottom left. Uh, uh, this telescopic uh, arm length is insane, almost 30 centimeters and just 28 centimeters. It can, it, a lot of stuff can fit here. A lot of stuff can fit with this one. I can tell you a mini laptop can fit on it. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, it does have a cheap, uh, it does have a cheap feeling. It doesn't even have rubbers here on the grip. I wish that it has some additional rubbers like Ipega PG 1999 have. Uh, but hey ho, what we can do? 50 bucks in just 50 bucks right now on Banggood. Uh, probably the flash promotions are even a bit cheaper so follow the links in the description thank you for watching my salmon